Er ist einer der Väter der Spielekonsole Xbox und gilt in der schnelllebigen Games-Branche als Legende. Vor 30 Jahren hat Ed Fries sein erstes Computerspiel entwickelt. Jetzt hält der Amerikaner Vorträge darüber, was wohl die Zukunft bringt. <laughs> That's an impossible question. <laughs> If I knew that, that would be great. I would make so much money. <laughs> Much higher resolution, much, much faster uh, 3D depth sensing cameras are coming. And so you'll be able to interact just by making hand signals or waving at the computer and, um, you know, or even sensing where your eyes are, where your eyes are looking, those kinds of things definitely coming in, in quite soon. Well, I mean, there's some really talented people working on big projects and big companies. I wouldn't take anything away from them. But the problem that they have is their projects have gotten so big, so expensive, that they can't really afford to take any risks. You know, when you have, some of the projects now are $100 million. dollars. Um, for, them, for them to make sense, they have to sell millions of copies to get their money back. And When you're in charge of making a, a game that sells millions of copies, you know, are you going to do something incredibly creative that no one's ever done before? Or are you going to pretty much stick to the script of what you know is going to work? <laughs> in a way, it's funny. It, it's a little like we've gone back to the good old days, in a sense, when, with mobile and tablets and electronic distribution. Uh, little teams can make games again. Little teams, you know, a couple guys in a garage can make a game and put it out and have it really matter. 